This is episode one in our new weekly series empowering you to learn everything there is about Microsoft SharePoint Framework. Let's dive straight in. Whether you develop on a Mac or Windows, whether you develop in JavaScript or use a framework such as React or Vue.js, this series will give you everything you need to stick modern SharePoint developer on your resume. As we're releasing episodes every week, we'd encourage you to click subscribe and the notification icon so that you don't miss out when the next episode is released. This episode is a brief introduction to the SharePoint framework, but please stick around to the end where we'll be revealing the web part that you're going to build during this series in JavaScript, React and Vue. Um, also, at the end of this episode, I'll show you what's coming next in the weeks to come. The SharePoint framework is also known as SPFX. It's Microsoft's best practice model for developing SharePoint client solutions. It allows easy integration with SharePoint data, such as lists, for example, and it also allows us to extend Microsoft Teams. With the SharePoint framework, you can create custom apps that are mobile friendly and use modern development tools. As well as building web parts, you can also build extensions, allowing you to modify toolbars and the like. Extensions also help you to build a better user experience with document libraries and other lists. Stick with me and let's look at my top 10 benefits for using the SharePoint framework. Number one, web parts built with the SharePoint framework can be used on both classic and modern SharePoint pages. Number two, the SharePoint framework is built on JavaScript, which is extremely fast and negates the need for things like iframes. Point number three, it allows integration with other APIs. These could be your own, or it could be the Graph API, or other APIs that are secured with Azure Active Directory. Point number four, the SharePoint framework is supported not only on SharePoint Online, but on the 2016 and 2019 versions of SharePoint on-premise, although this course will primarily concentrate on SharePoint Online. Point number five, the controls are naturally responsive, working on all modern browsers and all modern devices. Number six, it integrates with your JavaScript frameworks that you enjoy using. So it works with React, with Knockout, with Angular, with Vue.js, or with just plain JavaScript. Seven, development is based on modern open source tools, such as TypeScript, Gulp, Webpack, Yeoman, NPM. This will make development a lot easier and make you far more productive. Eight, and I love this point, is that modern SharePoint is actually built using the SharePoint framework. So anything you develop, you know it's going to work in SharePoint because SharePoint uses a SharePoint framework. Nine, deployment is very simple using the application catalog. And we'll get to that a bit later in the course. And 10, you only need to look at the job sites to see that SharePoint Framework is an in-demand skill. So thinking of security, this is one of the strong points of the SharePoint Framework. Because the SharePoint Framework runs in the client, that is in the browser, it can never touch the internal workings of SharePoint. So as it runs in the context of a current user, anything you do will not impact SharePoint itself. So apps developed in the SharePoint framework are completely isolated from the SharePoint web, meaning that any malfunctioning code will not cause the server to run into problems. The bottom line is the SharePoint framework is a safer, low risk model for SharePoint development. As promised early in this video, one of our early goals is we're going to build a web part in JavaScript but we'll also show how we can use JavaScript frameworks like React and Vue.js. Our first web part we're going to build is called Welcome, and this will display a custom message. It will demonstrate basic web part functionality such as properties, responsive layout, and responding to theme changes. It will demonstrate full functionality compatibility with SharePoint, 
such as drag and drop. The source code to this web part is already available in the link below. In the next lesson, we're going to be looking at the next step, which is setting up your development environment. Once you've got your development environment set up, you'll be able to build this awesome web part. You'll be able to build it whether you're using a Mac or you're using Windows, and we'll show you how to do both. As the weeks progress, we're going to see how not only to construct this web part, but how to integrate with SharePoint data, how to build, how to deploy, and even make it available on Microsoft's app source. I love working as a SharePoint developer. I'm sure you will too. I'm really looking forward to helping you in the episodes to come. We're releasing episodes every week to help you in your journey to becoming a SharePoint Framework developer. Just a reminder, as we will be releasing videos every week, make sure you do subscribe and click the notification icon so you don't miss out. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time.